Welcome to the Atmo Crypto Products Training about real IoT node security. Let's get started. The Internet of Things is the new media darling. In fact, it has been dubbed everything from the fifth wave of computing to the third wave of the Internet to the next big thing, the next megatrend, the largest device market in the world, and the biggest efficiency booster and cost reduction technology ever. Let's look at some of the numbers to see what is being predicted. Market researchers and major networking companies are predicting gigantic numbers of connected devices to the tune of 20 to 50 billion units of installed base by 2020. Some estimates are even higher. Such hyper growth would make the smartphone boom look anemic by comparison. The growing consensus is that the IoT is poised to be a major phenomenon. All that growth will attract a lot of mischief, and we are already seeing the signs. Viruses such as Heartbleed, Shellshock, Poodle, and bad USB have put innocent people at risk. Breaches like Sony, Anthem, and Superfish are huge in scale, and cyber gangs have exposed billions of passwords. The scary thing is that the attacks are increasingly targeted right at the very security mechanisms that are meant to provide protection. So, Digital protection mechanisms must be hardened. This is especially important as billions of miniature sensing communicating IoT nodes increasingly cover the earth like smart dust, creating more attack points. Oddly, with the predictions of giga volumes, you only hear passing comments about IoT security. Security is still treated as an afterthought. Security should, in fact, be the prerequisite of any IoT discussion. Talking about IoT without addressing security is like talking about scuba diving without mentioning water. Security is pivotal to the IoT's existence. Engineers, executives, investors, and researchers alike have been whistling past the graveyard hoping that their digital interests will not be attacked too badly. Of course, that is irrational because targets are super easy to find an attack now. Shodan is one of the main reasons nodes are so easy to find. Shodan is the Google of embedded devices. It navigates the internet's back channels 24 seven, looking for servers, webcams, printers, routers, and all the other stuff connected to the internet. It collects information on about 500 million connected devices each month, which is astonishing. Traffic lights, security cameras, home automation devices, appliances, heating systems, industrial networks, you name it, are all now super easy to spot. Even command and control systems for nuclear power plants and a particle accelerating cyclotron have been found on Shodan. Shodan alone proves that robust security for connected devices is needed badly. With nodes being so easy to access, designers will be adding security as fast as they can if they know what's good for them. The IoT unit shipment chart shows that security is indeed being viewed by market researchers as being essential for IoT's growth. So what is IoT security? All modern security systems are based upon open algorithms that use secret cryptographic keys to provide the security. Keeping secret keys secret is the key to security. It is that simple. However, with all the data breaches, it is clear that something is going terribly wrong. Security keys are getting stolen, and that is because they are poorly stored. The problem is that all software is vulnerable to attack because all software has bugs no matter how hard developers try to eliminate them. Hackers love software. Breaking into software is what they live for. Rogue software can see into system memory, so it is not a great place to store important things like keys, passwords, and digital IDs. So what about storing these in hardware? Hardware is better, but standard integrated circuits can be physically probed to read what is on the circuit. 
Also, power analysis can quickly extract secrets from hardware. So, is there anything that can be done? The answer, fortunately, is yes. Hardware key storage devices that protect keys with physical barriers and cryptographic countermeasures can fight off even the most aggressive attacks. Once keys are securely locked away in protected hardware, attackers cannot see them, and they cannot attack what they cannot see. That means that protected hardware storage beats software storage every time. But what good is it if the secrets are all locked away? There has to be a secure way to get at and use the secrets without exposing them. That is done by means of cryptographic engines that use the key for cryptographic operations while keeping it secret and securely stored. A simple example of accessing the secret key without exposure is by using challenges, keys, and algorithms to create unique, irreversible cryptographic responses. These types of operations are the fundamental building blocks of cryptography, and the crypto engines inside crypto element devices make them very easy to do. Now, let's look at some of the actual protection mechanisms. The dark blue border represents a tamper-hardened hardware boundary that contains shields, regulators, clock generators, and other countermeasures. This array of defense mechanisms keeps attackers from seeing what's inside. Crypto element devices all employ the same basic architecture of secure EEPROM for keys and data with the crypto engine between the interface and memory. There's a one-way counter to track how many times the device authenticates. All the devices include an internal high-quality hardware random number generator, which is required for every cryptographic protocol. In addition, all the products include a guaranteed unique serial number for identification and key diversification. Now that we have seen that true security comes from robustly protected key storage, cryptographic engines, and security countermeasures, let's look at how crypto elements provide authentication and confidentiality, which are two of the most important pillars of security. First, how do you identify a node? An excellent way is by using ECDSA, which means Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. ECDSA is the gold standard of asymmetric authentication. The heart of ECDSA is the sign verify procedure. The diagram here captures its essence, which is to send a random number from the host which can be another node, to challenge the client, the other node, to prove that it is authentic. The client node makes its response by signing the random number with its private key. The result of the signing process is called the signature, and that is sent back to the host to be verified. Verification on the host is done using the ECDSA calculation, to which there are three inputs, namely the client's public key, the same random number that was sent to the client, and the signature that it just received. If the calculation using those three inputs passes, then it is proven by elliptic curve mathematics that the client's public key and private key are in fact a valid key pair. Note that ECDSA is built right into the Atmel ATECC508A and ATECC108A crypto element devices. Moving to confidentiality, the same key must appear on both sides of an encryption decryption session. Getting the key to both sides in a secure way is the trick. 
fortunately, that trick was perfected back in the 1970s by Diffie and Hellman, who used elliptic curve mathematics to create the ECDH key agreement process. ECDH means elliptic curve Diffie-Hellman. ECDH mathematical operations, called point multiply, are depicted by the blue dots in the ECDH diagram. How this works is that the private key of side A, point multiplied by the public key of side B, is exactly equal to the private key of side B, point multiplied by the public key of side A. Since only the public keys are sent in the clear, only the private key holders can obtain the session keys. The session key, once calculated, is used by the MCU to encrypt the message, which is then sent to side B. Side B's calculated session key can then be used to decrypt the message it just received. And it's that simple. The only device that a smart IoT node needs for confidentiality and authentication is a crypto element such as the ATECC508A with ECDH and ECDSA. Confidentiality and authentication for the IoT may seem complicated, but it's not because Atmel does all the hard crypto engineering, so there's no need to be a crypto expert. With crypto authentication devices, it is easy to make IoT and other systems secure, intelligent, and connected. With security at our core, Atmel has you covered.